We've been drawing strokes with the pencil tool and also the line tool. Now what I wanna do is I want to paint with fills and we're gonna do that using the paintbrush tool. So go ahead and grab the paintbrush tool out of your toolbox. Go ahead and tap the B key on your keyboard if you are a keyboard shortcut enthusiast. And the important thing here, and I've already mentioned it, is the brush tool is going to paint or draw, if you will, with fills, not with strokes. Now, a couple of things here, I go and grab the tool, and as always, I move my eye down to the options area down at the bottom of the toolbox, and here on screen, I can see three of them, but unfortunately, the two most important ones are getting cut off on me. Let's talk about those in just a second. First of all, we have that object drawing option. Below that, we have lock fill, which is pretty cool. Below that, we have what's referred to as the brush mode, and we'll talk about brush modes in the next exercise, so sit tight there. But as I say, the last two, brush size and brush shape, are getting cut off on me here. You can probably see them on your screen, so give me just a second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to collapse down my toolbox down to an icon, and I'll just use the tool panel flyout. It's these two guys that I'm after here, brush size and brush shape. Now, the cool thing about the paintbrush tool is it's not only going to paint with fills, but it's gonna allow us to create artistic effects, painterly effects. We can even create calligraphy with the paintbrush tool as well. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll crank up the size of the brush that I'm gonna be using, maybe something around the midway. There we go, something like that. And then from the brush shape dropdown menu, I can go and choose the shape that I wanna use. So circles or ovals or rectangular shapes there or down towards the bottom these are my calligraphy nibs so you're welcome to go and explore those guys i think for myself i'm going to keep it pretty straightforward here just with the default there okay now i want to make sure that i'm not painting in white which i see beside my paint bucket tool is the fill color that i have set here so i'm going to click on that guy and i'm going to go and choose a different color maybe i'll go with maybe a red or maybe an orange or a scarlet, something like that. And what I can do is I can start creating these painterly effects on Flash's stage. And once again, I am painting not with strokes, but with fills, of course. All right, so if you want to create sort of this, again, sort of this painterly effect, this is exactly what we are, what we're going for here, okay? Now, at any time, you can go and switch up your options. Maybe what I'll do is I'll increase my brush size and maybe I'll switch out to one of those calligraphy nibs and now create, you know, something like this, right? Maybe that's the, the effect I want, maybe some kind of scrolly effect or something like this. Again, Control or Command A and delete on your keyboard to reset things for yourself. So it's always important to experiment along and see what you can come up with here in terms of your different effects and your different options that we have available here. So there we go, maybe something like that. So hopefully pretty straightforward. Again, it isn't anything too insane or crazy here. We haven't gotten to the insane crazy stuff just yet. But if you want, once again, you can move your eyeballs over into your properties panel and have a look there. There's our fill color once again, another spot where we can go and set our fill color. All of the stroke related options, like the line style, the thickness of the stroke line and so on, they're all grayed out. We can't change them. The only thing that we do have access to is smoothing. And smoothing works here for the paintbrush tool in exactly the same way as it works for the pencil tool. And again, that's how much influence Flash has over our work. So if I wanted to, I could crank up the smoothing value to a higher value, thus giving Flash a greater influence over my work. Or I could reduce down this smoothing effect, maybe down, maybe around 10 or 15 or something like that. And that gives Flash less of an influence over my work. Or you can go with the good old midway point there, 50%. There we are. So I hope that makes sense. This is meant to really just be a brief introduction to the paintbrush tool. What I now want to do is I want to take a closer look at Flash's paintbrush modes. This is where things start getting a little bit more interesting. Let's go and check it out. 